oh damn, this guy next to me works at Tesla. He's going and speaking to them. Oh damn, move over there, he says. Bet you it's more badass than that. I bet he's being super polite. He looks like a nice guy. Yes, yes, this guy is a legend. You get them gone. Hey everybody, how are you doing? It is Tesla Driver here. I hope you're having a great day. Today's actually quite a special one. I have got this with me for a day. This is a brand new 75D Model X and it's got all the software updates and features that mine for some reason still doesn't. So I thought I'd go through them all one by one and show you them. We're going to start off with Sentry Mode, which is basically like a dash cam slash security CCTV camera. And from what I've tested, it works pretty well. Now, you do need to go out and buy something else for this. All you need is a flash drive. So I've got this little USB one here. Well, this is 64 gigabytes, and it needs to be a uh, FAT32 format. So all you need to do, I've heard some people say that you can't do this on a Mac. Ignore All you need to do is go on and select a different setting. So put this into the back of your computer, format it, and then create a file called Tesla Cam, capital T, capital C, all one word all one word okay uh, a lot of people got muddled up by that and then all you need to do with this is plug it into the tesla first of all get the key in the center dash here you can see that there are actually two usb ports it doesn't matter which one you put it into just make sure it goes all the right way in and nice and fit like that and once it is in you'll know because at the top right of your screen you'll get that you see that little dash cam icon that's just popped up and now it's red that means that the usb is in and it is working so you can just click that to save dash cam footage but we'll do that in another video and now all we want to do is activate sentry mode so to do that you literally step out the car like so and lock it uh with a backwards key which is really quite awkward lock the car and you should see appear in the middle there that we've got sentry mode recording. Now, obviously this isn't my car, so I'm not gonna do things to it that I probably would do to mine. I'd probably throw some bigger items at my car to see if the uh, sentry cam picks it up. But yeah, because it's not mine, I'm gonna use a very nice soft pillow. It actually doesn't have a zip. It just has this like folding bit here, but I'll hold that bit and hit it with this bit. It's super soft and there's no feathers inside either. But before we go and beat off our car, all we need to do is walk by it and see when does sentry mode actually turn on. So I'm going to do a lap of the car. I'm going to look in and I'm going to see if sentry mode does actually turn on. First of all, I'm just going to walk all the way down the side and back again. Nothing turned on there. So that was to simulate like a normal passerby on the street or I don't know, just you know, walking by to go to your garage, I guess. What we'll do now is we'll go across, behind, and back across the other side of the car. Let's see if that turns it on. Again, that didn't seem to do anything, but to be honest, it shouldn't. I mean, I did have a look around the car, but I was just going around it. I wasn't doing anything wrong or anything suspicious. So let's go a little bit more suspicious and peer through a window. Okay, it's turned on. So that turned it on just by going closer and looking in, turned the sentry mode on. I'm not sure if that's happened because the proximity sensors have noticed I'm getting closer to it, or is it the cameras? Because I was pretty much blocking a camera there. So a camera's thinking there's someone here and for some reason he's staying here. I'm gonna go by again and see if it's still on. Yeah, so it's still recording. So this should be recording all of this. So I'm gonna go around with this and I'm just gonna put it over the cameras and see if when you cover up a camera, does that set it off as an alarm? Because I believe the alarm does turn on. It's actually turned off. I heard the beep and sentry mode has just turned off. It's turned back on again. Interesting, so when you cover up a camera... Okay, it's not doing it now. Maybe I just waited too long. Or waited long enough. 
Now I'm covering the front cameras, but it doesn't seem to have an issue with it. I'm gonna start beating the car. Again, there is nothing on this. I'm just gonna make double sure. Okay, let's try this. Now obviously this is pretty light, so it's not making any movement, but it should be blocking the cameras and creating like a, I don't know, just, a, just some sort of quick movement on and off. We're not getting anything, are we? So I think we've got to go a little bit harder and really, really go for it. god okay so it played the horn which is incredibly loud apologies neighbors but it also plays some kind of dracula music inside i don't know it's some kind of i recognize the tone but i have no idea what it's off i'm pretty sure it's dracula or something oh my god well, that gave me a fright i'm intrigued to see what that picked up from it but that was just two hits so the second hit was apparently hard enough i wonder if that was because i did it on the sensor or if because it was just a hard enough hit so Avoiding the main sensors in that camera array at the top, I'm gonna go around and beat the body panels and see if that does anything. But that's interesting. So I've locked the car up. Apparently. I'm just testing to see if trying the door handles does anything, but apparently not. Not getting anything from it, so let's beat these other ones. doing anything from knocking on the windows or actually just hitting any of the body panels. In fact, it got so bored, I just saw it turn off. It was like I got some weird guy buffing me with a pillow. I don't think he's of any threat. So the pillow worked, but not quite as I was expecting. So let's push the car because it does have the tilt and intrusion kind of thing. Let's push the car, knock a bit louder and see if we can get anything else but a pillow to the main camera making the difference. So. not doing anything. It's hardly making any any notice of it. So it doesn't seem as sensitive as I first thought. In fact, again, sentry mode just turned off when I was actually pushing the car. What if someone just came and sat on it? It's really not having it. So apparently if the attacker is beating that camera off with a pillow, a fluffy pillow, it will turn on and, and go crazy. But otherwise, not really. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed this video on sentry mode. I know it was a short one, but I just want to show you every little bit of the update. Uh, at the end of this, I'm actually going to put all the footage that the Tesla got of all of those so you can see them in, in their entirety and make do with them what you wish. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, don't forget, drive safe.